If you if you could give three pieces of advice to people in Ghana who are either trying to start a company yeah. or trying to make some money on the side or thinking about making the leap but don't know where to start or yeah. their parents are like, no, you shouldn't do it, you have to pay <laughs> bills or, you know, just trying yeah. to start, what, what would you tell them? One, yeah, just like really commit to it, like learn it, just do the work. Sometimes I'm surprised how much, like the difference between the idea and the work of it. Like it's just gonna be hard work. There's just no way around anything you do, but just like commit, make some room for it. So what, the first one is do the work. Whatever scares you the most, kind of face it and get through it. Because when you solve it, it opens up other things. It's almost like doors open. So that voice that sometimes tells you, maybe not, maybe people don't like it, maybe you're done. Like face it and work through it, because I think that's the real challenge. Because um, the more confidence you have, the more people are attracted to you in a weird way. If you let the fear in, then that cancels itself. Um, third piece of advice, have fun. Like still laugh, be happy. Like the times I take it too seriously, like I feel like I energetically block myself. Um, things didn't move as fast. I couldn't be open to being creative about how to solve my problem. Um, yeah, so have fun with it. Like, don't. I know it's a dream, and I know it's a passion, and I know like sometimes it's like this overwhelms you. But also just like give it room to, like don't let it break you down. Because um, it might play itself in ways that you also don't always expect. I thought I would only do fine jewelry at a certain point. But now I'm really attracted to just production, like other people's work. Um, I don't let my ego dictate how the dream is going to be. Like you have to be open to that part. It might not look exactly how you in your mind imagined it to be, but if you give it room, it could just be as fantastical. <laughs> um, and lastly, African parents are tough, <laughs> but they love us. <laughs> But I think now, collectively, as a group, we're also interesting that I think now, I think they did that before because they were protective of us. Uh -huh. But I think now they can see that we come in all kinds of shades and colors and dreams. And... I think they're getting there. I th it's, 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 it's an interesting point. Now, for me, I know it's easier for me because I have three older sisters and there. So one's a doctor, or two oh, are doctors, and one is a financial yeah. analyst. So I'm free to do whatever I want, and it's like, okay, he's the youngest. If anything happens, you know, it's fine. Okay. Right. For you, you said, like you said, Stephen is is still doing, is still in the finance sector, yeah. kind of. Yeah. You know, you they saw you're making money, so you're fine, even though you're doing yeah. this, right? You just got the 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 uh, this office space. Yeah. You know, Bernice, Bernice is doing her thing as well. Yeah. Wesley, yeah. Wesley is, is the baby <laughs> of the group, so he's yeah. You know, it's not, so it's. I think for for a certain group of us, it's it's easier to do it. Okay. Right, depending on, on circumstance. But this, I know there's a, there's a group of people who, they're the breadwinners, right? Yeah. They're the, and they, it's like, okay, I'm making a, a thousand CDs a month, right? Mm -hmm. uh, out of the thousand CDs, I make 800 goes towards bills. I have 200 CDs. If I could make 500 extra CDs, you know, yeah. that would be great. But it's just, they don't know where to start or, or you know, like, for example, the, how you said, okay, you just quit your job without even knowing yeah what it was you're gonna do yeah for a lot of people the hardest part is okay fine what is what is the idea how do i find that idea how do i find that one thing that i can do right right uh and so it's 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 like yeah okay fine you know it's, it can be done blah 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 but getting started is the hardest i think one of the hardest things for i for i swear to god that day i was sitting it was my review my boss was telling me i gained some 10 percent or something and then he's like, you don't look too happy. And I was like, I'm giving my two week notice. <laughs> I guess I had never done it before where I quit like that. So I was like, the whole time he's talking, Claire was on my face. But like, I really had no clue what I was doing. All I figured out is I was getting a ticket to Ghana. Um, and then I figured it out from there. So yes, it is stuff that somehow it can blow your chest out. But that's why you need faith. And that's what I say, and my friends say, 
Entrepreneurship too is a highly spiritual exercise. Like whatever roots you, grounds you, gives you faith, lifts you, break, bring that in. Cause that moves mountains. Cause otherwise you're alone, fear is eating at you. So I don't know what, what, whatever gives you faith, you're gonna have to tap into it. Because yes, there are times I am broke. <laughs> Can't figure out how to pay rent. And like they say, there's a Hail Mary move at the end. There's times I have to find the strength before I made money. I never had to ask anybody to help me. I had to ask people to help me and believe in my dream. And then you have to pay them back. Like, that's why I mean, it, it, it's not an ego exercise. Like, if you believe you're going to make it rich off the bat, you'll never have to ask for help. You'll never, like, you know, poverty. Like, everything will work out. And it doesn't play out that way. And you think you're a failure, so you go back to your old ways. You weren't meant to do this. Because, like, you have to taste all that kind of, like, stuff to even get to the next level of the game. Like, right now, like, I'm trying to even, like, find the balls to start asking for real investment capital. But it's, like... If I've never heard anybody tell me no, and I have to convince them yes, like how am I going to go tell somebody to give me real money to build a company? You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, but you know, like people are so afraid of hearing no. Yeah, yeah. And if no defines failure or success, and you hear no and it crushes your spirit, then you're already out of the games. Because I have a feeling I'm going to be hearing a lot of no's (laughs) every every now and then, and I'm giving out no's too. Like, so I think, yeah, so on this, like, a, like a spiritual soul level, always have some kind of practice. If it's prayer, if it's yoga, if it's meditation, I don't know what it is. But yeah, because I, I think the first part of all this is like, your ego will get crushed and you have to be okay with that. But it doesn't define you. Like, you're not your ego. Like, it's all a challenge. It's all an experience. And to be the best version of yourself, you have to be tested. Like, you just have to be. Like, otherwise, like, ego is just fake. Like, what is it based on if you've never, like, hustled, you know, you've never hustled it? Like, what, like... When do you even get this office? I had, like, 20 minutes to say yes. The offer was given to me, and I had 20 minutes to say yes and find $5,000 to pay for this space. I didn't know where I was getting it from, but I said yes. And I went outside, and I almost shit myself. <laughs> I was like, I'm in here, and I gotta renovate things, I gotta pay workers, I got, but I just have to say yes, accept it as an experience. And to see, I mean, at least I'm here. Like, yeah, yeah. Even if you boot me out now, it's like I still, still taste it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the next place I can dream of has to be here, at this level yeah. or the next level because I'm like I've, I've been in it once why not yeah no um I know another thing people issue people have is when people ask them to do stuff if they're not ready to do it they say no yeah right but it's 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 interesting that you know you said yes without before starting to worry about okay fine where do I now find the money and all that yeah because a lot of people are like okay fine you know oh I need someone to do xyz and they're like oh I don't know how to do that so they're like no Right, turning on opportunity, but yes. if you say yes exactly. and then That's you either go word. figure it out, yes. you either say, okay, fine, either I can learn how to do it, or I know someone delegated, let them do yeah. it. Yeah, exactly. But that's, so that's a, it's a, I think it's a, it's an interesting mindset difference between okay. people who have started doing their own thing and who are, are entrepreneurs and those who are in the employee track. Then the employee track, it's like, okay, I don't know how to do this, so. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna leave it alone. You know, yeah. like it's 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 uh this is what they're paying me for. So this is what I'm gonna do. Exactly. Right. Right. And, which is it's just an interesting point. But I like what you said. I think it's also like a mindset. What it takes to be a great employee is not the same thing it takes to be the boss. Because one, you have to dream it, you have to build it, and make enough to pay people out of that dream. Right now, I respect all my jobs, past jobs, people that gave me a lot of money, because now I realize what it takes. You have to build something enough that it creates enough food to feed yourself and a whole bunch of people. That's like dreaming on such an epic level, like, high five. Like, I get it now. Like, I, I want to do that. Like, this is the next part of the puzzle that I would love to do. Can I make enough, can I create enough abundance that there's surplus where I can feed others. Other people, yeah. 
But for me, in my mind, that's like, ooh, that's a game changer. Like, once you figure, that's like, how do you figure, like, how do those people figure that out? And that's where I'm at. Like, I'm going to figure that out. Like, especially like when you make enough that you have like a lot. Left and I know, there's enough for everybody else. Like, you can pay the mailman. <laughs> you can pay the secretary. You can pay like colleagues and workers. Like, it's like fascinating, fascinating and pull it off. Yeah. But then everybody shows up at work now and they're all salty too. <laughs> like my job is too boring. <laughs> I was like, you can have a seat and do your job. Um, so I think that part of building a brand. So at some point I had to decide I wasn't just a jeweler. I wanted to try building a brand. So that's you're meeting me in the mix of mm. like those two trying to come together. I know I'm a great jeweler, but I want a brand. How do I bring it together? Brand requires other people, it requires delegation now, it requires, yeah, like other people get to do work off of me and like we can all build a vision together. together yeah. And I think it could be fun. I mean, worst case scenario, I go back to half time jewelry making, half time law <laughs> practice. And I think, well, in fairness, that was kind of a buffer too for me because I was like, worst case scenario, at yeah. least I have the law degree, I can always, always go back. Practice, yeah. I mean, even at the most basic level, I could. I guess in that sense, it doesn't hurt to have some kind of degree. <laughs> I'm sorry, people. <laughs> like, it does, if you can. If not, but I, I seriously think, like, being African right now is so cool. Mm. Like, it's the, like one of the best times to be African. I think we're defining things, we're changing the game, we're creating trends. Like, it's a great time to dream of whatever you want. I think on a global scale, were so interesting like it's gonna be amazing like i feel like the next few years will be amazing for all of us okay. but yeah we can network we can build together you can come to new york you can do this <laughs> on the screen you can take the message back oh you can bring the message here yeah and then when i go to ghana too like i'm bringing some of this there it's a great time to be it's a great time to be black in general <laughs> like beyonce said it <laughs> The last words Beyonce said it. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank, you, Thank you. Thank you.